<laughs> Hello, welcome everybody, right, to another Facebook Friday. It's a Frilici Friday. And it is not a very pretty day outside, but that does not even matter because as usual, we are going to have lots of fun here in my stamp room today. We are playing with, this is the Happy Little Things stamp set. So I have to kind of there, we'll get rid of the glare. So fun um, sentiments. So you can kind of stamp inside of things. So we've got celebrate and then that one also says celebrate and wishing and wishing and then there's a love and a you. So this is very much a builder set, right? Because then uh, in terms of sentiments, a building sentiment stamp set. So um, because maybe we would say wishing you comfort and strength. And then there's also you are incredible and you did it. And then in very small print, we have, um, so maybe wishing you a peaceful season, a speedy recovery, the best day ever, um, the little things and happy, so maybe wishing you happiness and maybe celebrate the little things. Those might be fun sentiments, right? So, um, and then just a little couple of little doodads down there as well. So awesome stamp set. It's actually a bundle. This is part of our online exclusive, so you're not gonna find it in any catalog. They've been doing more and more of this. I believe, I'm trying to remember for sure. So at on stage, they told us they're either gonna have three or maybe four releases of online exclusive only products um, every single year. So three or four times a year so they're definitely and and we've noticed for the past year um it's probably but yeah been a little over a year hello miss Teresa. welcome welcome um you know they've been doing lots of releases well lots three or four a year it feels like a lot to me hi susie welcome um, and so just kind of know that because it's been a little bit confusing um, for my customers locally. They'll come to an event and like, where is that stamp set in the catalog? Well, it's not in the catalog. It's only available online. And I made some notes. Let me look because I wanted to make sure I could tell you guys exactly how to find the online exclusives. So if you go to my website, so amysuzanne.stampinup.net, click on shop. <clears throat> And then there's a menu button. It's like, I think it's the first one in the top left side. If you click on menu and there's, you're gonna see like stamps and inks and paper. One of the little buttons says online exclusives. So it's really, really easy. So again, go to amysuzanne.stampinup.net to shop, click on shop, then click on menu and then you'll see the online exclusive. It's like a circle button. Click on that and you'll see everything that's available and they'll even show you um, because I think there are a few things, you know, it's, everyone's really excited about them. And so we've sold so many, we don't have any more right now. They're replenishing them. Um, so there are a few of those. Um, we're gonna try to avoid showing those just cause I know that's like a big tease, right? So I will tell you that these are the Happy Little Things dies and it's just this little set of two kind of labely dies. So this is a banner um, and then this is another little label and we're actually using that one today because it's hard to see. There's kind of a little scallopy edge on that one too. So also at on stage, they told us that um, demonstrators were saying we need cheaper bundles. So this is a perfect example. Obviously you get less in it. They're not gonna like just reduce the price but give you a whole bunch of stuff. But they want we wanted to have like different price point options because they're usually what like 40, 45, 50, 60 dollars for a bundle. So this is an example. I think it's like 33 or 34 dollars for the bundle. So you get the stamp set and the set of dies. So awesome, kind of a lower price point for um, those of us that don't want to spend quite as much on our stuff, right? So this is what we're playing with today. We're going to have lots and lots of fun with this. I can't wait to share the projects. I've got some cute ideas over there for you. I'm going to put these right back here. Um, yeah, I was looking at the cards like, which one am I going to do first? Um, okay, so don't forget, just this week, uh, the retiring list, so they've been out, but just this week on Tuesday, all of the discounts went into effect, and there are some awesome, awesome deals. It's funny, because as I've been um, prepping for events this month, I'm like, oh, that one's on sale. Oh, that one's on sale. So I've been putting little stickies on things to let people know that like, wow, this set of dies, um, the scalloped contour dies, which are retiring, which I'm so sad. Those are discounted. And I was like, oh my gosh, what a great deal. Can't even remember how much they are. If they were 30 some dollars, now they're 20 some dollars. But um, 
awesome set of dies there. I'm using those actually for card class card because I've got card class after we finish up Facebook Live. So I'm like trying to think of, we're not using that here, but we're using it at card class this afternoon. So yeah, so just keep that in mind. We have a couple more weeks. So through the end of April, um, <clears throat> you can get any of those retiring products as you know, and I did peek, well, it was the other day, so I can't even say now, probably more has sold out, but these are the in colors that are retiring. So again, Tahitian Tide, Starry Sky, Sweet Sorbet, um, Parakeet Party, and Orchid Oasis. Very sad, because these are such fun, beautiful, bright colors. I know the ink refills have already sold out in all of these colors, so hopefully you've already gotten those. But make sure, if you love these colors, stock up on your cardstock. If you haven't gotten the ink pad, go ahead and do that. Um, there's ribbon, embellishments, lots of fun stuff, blends and markers in these colors. So again, these will be gone in just a couple weeks. So keep that in mind and get what you need while you still can. Um, yeah, in a little while, I'm going to show you the new in colors that are coming in, but I want to wait and flip the camera down and show you guys that way in just a little bit. Um, oh, I've got some other, I feel like I've had so many events. Um, I, I think because I was gone for a good couple of weeks in March. And so I couldn't do as many things as I normally do in March. So I packed them all in in April. So I'm like, oh my gosh, every week I've had like something pretty major going on, which is fun because I love um, prepping for like the make and takes and the gifts and treats and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's been a little bit crazy, uh, but I wanted to show you guys. So we did, let's see, I'll start with, um, so celebration, celebration. So this was the fun event where I spoil you for earning your spot at celebration, celebration. So you earned your spot. Um, if you bought the starter kit through me, if you spent at least $150, through me um, if you <clears throat> hosted a private party or class with sales of more than $300, you earned your spot. If you are already in my team and you promoted during celebration, you earned your spot. So um, I have everything all mailed out. So everyone should have gotten all of their prizes and gifts and make and takes if you weren't able to attend. Um, but I just wanna share with you guys. So this was one of the make and takes that we made at the celebration celebration event. This is called a bridge card. I guess because it kind of looks like a bridge, right? This one I cased from uh, Brenda Quintana. Um, it was such a beautiful card that I was like, oh, we're going to make this one as well. So love. This is the Zinnia designer series paper and stamp set. And then actually the Zinnia embossing folder too with some pretty gold ribbon. I think that is retiring. Actually, most of our ribbon. So yeah, all of this ribbon back here for the most part <laughs> is going to be going into my buy one, get one free sale this summer. Oh my goodness. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, so this beautiful card, this was one of our make and takes. And then I had to share with everybody, these are the new in colors. Um, and so they got kind of a sneak peek at the new in colors. So Summer Splash, Petunia Pop, Peach Pie, Shy Shamrock, and Pretty in Pink, which is a returning color from many, many years ago. Um, so this was the other make and take that we made. And I'm gonna kind of put this really, really close so you can see this is the beautiful ribbon. I don't know if it's like a stitched bordered ribbon. I can't remember exactly, textured ribbon. Um, but it's very lovely and very easy to work with and it comes in all five of our in colors. Obviously this one is the Petunia Pop color. And then I love the sentiment too. It says, be grateful for what you have, be proud of who you are. Um, these thoughtful expression dies have already sold out my favorite 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 from the spring mini catalog so hopefully you have those already because those are gone 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 and then I'm going to again try to get in real close here because these are some of the in color gems that will be available um, starting May 1st if you buy the starter kit though you could actually get all of this new in color product right now in your starter kit so something to think about if you're interested in joining our inspired stampers team um, getting this in color stuff before anybody else else can. That's the way to do it right now. Uh, buy the starter kit and get all this beautiful product in your starter kit. You can do that. Um, oh, and then we also... So for celebration, celebration, I gave everybody a pack of the iridescent foil gems. Those are kind of the little, they have, they're like kind of a clear gem, but then they have like, I don't know, kind of champagne sprinkles in them is what I think of. Um, so beautiful gems. I think 
I didn't bring a pack over. I don't even have a full pack, I'm sure. Um, and then this cute little treat box too that says thank you. And then um, these are some of the little gems from the Zinnia um, suite. Those are on back order right now. So I used those on a couple of, I think I used them on the other card too. But anyway, um, so just a cute little treat box. So this, it's a little belly band. You don't even have to rip anything. This just slides off if you can kind of see like this, right? And then put a little candy inside there too, but it just kind of opens up. So isn't that cute? It just opens up like that. So fun little treat box. I love making the little treat boxes and sharing <laughs> and sharing slash sampling the candy that I put in the <laughs> that's probably the biggest like ulterior motive, right? For um Ah, okay, I'm gonna have to put that back on later. It will slide back on, but not when you're on Facebook Live. It wants to be futzy when you're on Facebook Live. So, okay, we'll fix that up later. Okay, so then we also played bingo this week. We, um, yeah, had lots and lots of fun playing bingo. So I always like to give everybody a couple little treats and presents for attending. I'm kind of this, uh, like I want everybody to win, you know, that whole everyone gets a medal. I guess that's like part of my bingo plan too. So I make sure that everybody gets something when they come to bingo, regardless of whether they actually, you know, get a bingo. So everyone got a pack of, or a quarter of a package of the Zinnia um, designer series paper. And then these are some gems. I'm totally drawing a blank on the name of them, but the fun bright colors work perfectly with this designer series paper, I thought. So let's see, have you guys, I think I've shown you this, the Zinnia paper, because we've used it on um, Facebook Live before, but I'm going to kind of flip through again because I love, so it's pretty bold and bright. At first I was like, oh, it's kind of a lot, but I have totally gotten used to it being a lot and have fallen in love with it. And this is probably one of my favorite um, background patterns, that little purple plaid there too. And then there's some more um, flowers and some kind of pink polka dots, more red flowers and they're like little stars or diamonds crosses. This designer series paper is one of my favorites. And then I love that pattern too, right? This, whatever that pattern is called. And then some leafy green, some stripey, and then another bold pattern with kind of some orange and yellow. I'm using like general <laughs> color names there instead of that is probably pumpkin pie and uh, daffodil delight. <laughs> okay, yeah. And then here are the gems. You can see it maybe a little bit better not tied up there. We also, so these are super cute too, these fun little pillow box, like treat boxes. These are retiring and they're on sale also. I think it's like, they're like six, six or seven dollars and you get a package of 10 of them and they're really sturdy. So this kind of opens up, if you can see, kind of open up, opens up and I put a little brownie in there too, right? So I wrapped the um, little pillow box with some of the Zinnia um, designer series paper, some sweet sorbet ribbon. This ribbon is retiring. And then, oh yeah, I used um, more of those thoughtful expression dies that have already sold out. These are little in color pearls. Those are also um, something that is retiring because those are in the sweet sorbet color right there. So, um, okay, I'm just looking to see if I've missed any comments, but I think we are good. <clears throat> We also did make and takes at Bingo. So I have my last ditch effort to play with the lighter than air designer series paper. I saw this card on Pinterest. I made it a little bit more simple, but this um, basically I cased from Amy Coenders at stampwithamyk.com. She always has so many cute projects. Um, so yeah, we made this fun little ice cream card. Um, and then you can see it just kind of opens up with more of that. So this designer series paper, Lighter Than Air, that is um, retiring. This is a label from the All That dies that are also retiring. I love those dies because they've got a couple of different um, sizes and shapes of labels, and I use those all the time. So that's very sad for me that those are retiring. Now the stamp set, this ice cream swirl stamp set and dies, the bundle is retiring, so your savings of 10% on the stamp set and dies <coughs> will be going away, but the actual stamp set and dies are still available, just not in the bundle any longer. <coughs> okay, <coughs> time for some water. Mm. It's funny because it's not even, right, like it's, um, it's not, it's not dry outside, that's for sure. It's been raining <laughs> for the past two days, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what the tickle is in my throat. Um, but okay, so here, 
is our other make and take featuring some brand new products. So this is some of the Unbounded Beauty Designer Series paper. We use this cute, sweetly scripted stamp. This is this is a great stamp set, another online exclusive that's got the little swirls. I think I used this on last week's, or two weeks ago on Facebook Live. Um, and then some of the pretty in pink. This is more of that new in color ribbon with a couple of, those are the blooming pearls. So fun make and takes and cute prizes and presents for everybody that comes to bingo. Then we also play bingo for actual Stampin' Up! prizes, so you can win more good stuff if you come and play bingo with us. So I'll be doing another one now that our new annual catalog will be going live in May. I'll do another bingo probably in June or July is when I'll do that. I haven't looked quite that far ahead in my calendar, but keep that in mind. Love playing bingo and making cute treats and giving away lots of fun product. Okay, I gotta set those right there um let's see what else do i think we are ready yeah let's do our first drawing right okay so for <clears throat> this is the black and white gingham ribbon your name is in my basket right here if you shared the Facebook Live video, five entries if you shared it to a crafting group that you're a part of. Uh, if you comment on um, a post, I pick one random post, and if you commented on that random post I picked, your name is in here. Post a picture of a project that you've made on our Facebook group, your name is in here. And lastly, if you sign up for my email list. So lots of great ways to win um, the little prize that I give away each Facebook Live. So, okay, I toss these around, they get like stuck together. And I don't like that because everyone needs a fair chance of winning, right? Okay, there's like a stack of them. We gotta pull those apart. <clears throat> okay, all right. I think we're all, everyone has a fair chance now. That's what I think. Okay, and the winner is Miss Debbie Green. All right, congratulations, Debbie. Thank you for your share. And I will send that ribbon out to you. This ribbon is retiring too. So just so you guys know, the black and white gingham ribbon is, there's a vanilla and white that's a little bit bigger, kind of gingham print and um, a little bit wider, not too much. Um, it's actually right here. I don't know if you guys can see, probably not way back there, right? It's too much work to pull those all <laughs> off. But anyway, that one is staying. This one is retiring. So the white is retiring. The vanilla is staying. Okay. All right. So on our next Facebook Live, which is going to be two weeks from today, because next weekend I'm doing my one day retreat here at Alma. Um, and so there's lots of work I still have to do to get ready for that. And then I set up on Friday. So no Facebook Live next Friday because of the one day retreat, but we'll be back again live in two weeks. So the last Friday in April, it might be April 26th, right before we go on the, um, not the cruise, but the incentive trip to Mexico happens that following Monday. So I'll I'll be bouncing off the walls by then, I'm sure, trying to make sure I'm all packed and ready to go for the trip. Um, but in the meantime, if you share this Facebook Live video to your personal page, one entry. If you share it to a crafting group, you're part of five entries. If you share a project that you've made right here in a Facebook group, you could get your name in the drawing to win these. Sign up for my email list and comment, 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 because you never know which post I'm going to pick and when your name might end up in this basket. Okay? All right. I'm gonna dump those out and get that those ready for the next drawing. Okay, I think, oh, I wanna show you guys. So Miss Teresa, who is watching, yes, she's always so cute with the box that she sends with her swap cards. I just have to show you guys. So she sent a beautiful card that says, hello, friend, and I love, so she used um, some of the punches. This is like kind of a duo punch pack, and there's one punch with this shape and one, one punch with this shape. Cannot remember the name of them. Um, drawing a blank on the name of this designer series paper, but I know it's in our annual catalog and it is retiring also. I feel like maybe those punches are retiring. Can you tell I've kind of gone through some of the stuff in my craft room and figured out what's retiring, but punches I haven't looked at yet. But I feel like there's a good possibility. Definitely this designer series paper is retiring, but beautiful card that she sent. And she, um, oh, she stamped on the inside too. And then she's just got a little sticky telling me um, about her payment for the make and takes and um, some raffle tickets for our meeting. But isn't this beautiful too? I love that stamp as well. So thank you, Miss Teresa. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. And I love how she 
decorates the inside also with more cardstock. Plus it makes it a really nice kind of sturdy, heavy duty card. And then I'm gonna cheat and share her um, swaps. So she set her swaps right here. So this is another great thing to know, right? So if, you, if you're thinking you wanna get the starter kit because you need to get all the new ink colors, right? Become a member of our Inkspired Stampers team. That's very sweet, Teresa, thank you, thank you. Um, then you can swap with us. We have our team meetings the third Tuesday of every month. So you mail your swaps to me, I take them to the meeting, swap them around with everybody and then mail your swaps back to you. Now that's if you're long distance. If you're local, you can just make your swaps and bring them to the meeting. But don't not become a part of our Inkspired Stampers because you're not near us because you can still very much feel a part of things. We do Facebook Live team meetings too, so you can pop in just like you are here right now and join us on our team meeting on a separate, it's a different um, team Facebook group. But this, these are her cute swaps. I just thought this was so beautiful. Love like the white with that kind of pop of springy colors. Just beautiful, right? And she's got a little sentiment that says, happy hello. Love the twine there too. And the stamping so darn cute. I just, I love this. So thank you, Miss Teresa. I'm excited to share your spot cards with everybody. We have our uh, team meeting, I guess it's, yeah, it's next week, next week on Tuesday. So, okay. <clears throat> All right. I think we're ready to do our other drawing. So this one is actually, if you put an online order in through me, you get both of these cards that I demonstrated. These are more of those sweetly scripted stamps right and the painted lavender designer series paper so you get both of these cards as a thank you for me for your order you also get to pick from the pdf tutorial which includes this project right here i'll show you this one right so this is kind of a fun fun fold so this was my card that i shared in the tutorial so if you want the tutorial great 16 projects including that one that i just showed you or the free embellishment for April, which are the Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock Foil Gems. And your name, I know it's like so much stuff, right? Your name is in the drawing to win the cake fancy stamp set. Crazy, huh? All the free stuff you get. So I just truly appreciate your online order. So thank you, thank you, thank you for anyone that ordered through me. And we will have one lucky winner of this cake fancy stamp set. Okay, so let's see. Here we go. And again, there aren't many entries in here. Like, <laughs> you'd probably laugh if you knew how many. <laughs> but Miss Monica Talbot, you are the winner of the Cake Fancy stamp set. So my point is you have really, really good odds of winning this drawing if you put an order in through me because I don't get that many online orders. So your odds are really, really good, right? So congratulations, Miss Monica. You are the winner of that Cake Fancy stamp set. And on our next Facebook Live, again, two weeks from today, we will give away, this is such a cute stamp set. My friend Stacy was playing with it over the weekend um, and having lots of fun with it. So lots of kind of different imagery. You can build like all these different um, little plants, right? Like maybe little succulents or just so cute, right? So such a cute stamp set. Planted Paradise. This is what you'll get your name in the drawing to win if you order through me. I will give you the host code uh, when I flip the camera down too, okay? Gotta find that. I think it's underneath here <laughs> as I'm saying that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I think, are we ready? Are we ready? Let me make sure. But yeah, I think we are. Okay. So I just got to clean off a little bit here. That's all. Okay. That and that and that. Okay, I think we are ready because we are going to talk about, yeah, actually, hold on, let me find, <laughs> I've got my, mm, yes, okay, good, okay, that was easy, thrilled that that wasn't more of a pain, you guys are quiet today, is it like rainy and dreary where everyone is today, hopefully not, we're supposed to have, I think it's supposed to be like 60 and sunny 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 tomorrow so very excited about that that will be lovely to have some good weather okay all right flip your heads or turn your heads because we are flipping the camera <laughs> or you can flip your head if you want <laughs> okay uh, there we go yes rainy and dreary ah uh, yes so hopefully you get good weather tomorrow Teresa. okay 
There we go. So here is our host code, because I think maybe I forgot to even give that last uh, Facebook Live. So the NP73SFVU, that's the host code you want to use and order online through me. Also, I can't show you anything more than this, but here is, and you know what I need to do is move my plate so I can make sure you guys can see everything, right? So if I know this, um, my mat, my stamping glass mat, if that is in view in the camera, then I know if I'm working on there, you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's, it's all for my own, <laughs> my, my own help, basically. Okay, so here is our new annual catalog. Beautiful, beautiful, lots of gorgeous things in here. I am almost all the way through it. And isn't that ridiculous? Because how many weeks have I had it? And it's just been crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, but yes, I, I love to like just sit down and savor every single page and read every single, single thing in there. Um, and so it takes me a little while to get through it, but I'm having lots and lots of fun. My list is growing. If you are interested, if you do not have the annual catalog, I mailed some out to people that have ordered online through me. If you need a catalog that I and I did not send it to you, please let me know and I'm happy to get one mailed out to you. Okay, so let me know on that. And then also, <clears throat> as part of our annual catalog, actually, maybe I'll talk about this one first. So I am doing a designer series paper share. So let's see, you guys can't see, can you? I go there. There we go. Okay. So designer series paper share. So lots and lots of pretty paper in our next annual catalog. My first order is going to go in on May 1st. I would love to know as soon as possible if you are interested. So I make sure I get enough ordered for everybody. There are, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm including 13 packs of paper in this designer series paper share. So let me give you an example here too. So kind of like, <clears throat> excuse me, this pack of paper that I showed you from Bingo, from the Bingo event, this is what you would get. This is a quarter of a pack of designer series paper. So it's generally, if it's 12 by 12, you're going to get a 6 by 12 sheet of all six front and back side patterns in the designer series paper. There are, let's see, um, maybe a couple that are six by six. There aren't many um, that are six by six. So in some cases, you're going to get a six by six piece if that's as big as they are. Um, but just kind of know that. So that's a quarter of a pack of all 13 packs of designer series paper. I have been emailing and posting on our Facebook group about it. If you need more info, please let me know. Um, but again, first order is going to go in on May 1st. I'll get those shipped to me and then packed and prepped and sent out to you as quickly as I can after May 1st order. It's $45 plus an additional $10 for shipping if you need it shipped to you. Great way to see all of the paper in the catalog, decide what you love and want to get a full package of. That way you can see it all, which is what I love to do too. <laughs> it's funny, I'm always super excited because we're limited. We could only order a few of these packages of paper. So I haven't even, well, I guess I shouldn't say that because I had, I did see them all at, on stage, but I didn't pay enough attention to them. And now I wish I had. But anyway, it's still fun. When when I get my first paper share order in, I'm always super excited because I'm like, ooh, I get to see all the paper now too. So, okay, so there's that. And then also I'm going to be doing an in-color club. So again, here are our new in-colors. Okay, so if you love these colors as much as I do, Petunia Pop, Summer Splash, Peach Pie, Pretty in Pink, and Shy Shamrock. You might want to do the In Color Club also. So here's the idea. One month, say maybe your first month you're going to get Petunia Pop. You're going to get everything. So package a card stock, an ink pad, a refill, the bordered ribbon, the marker, the blends, the designer series paper. It's $60 per month to get all of that in Petunia Pop. Then maybe the next month you get summer splash, and so on. So it goes for five months. So you get all five colors. One month, you are the host, and you get $20 in free product. <clears throat> anything you want. I say that almost anything. 12 by 12 paper generally does not fit in the packaging that I use. So that's one that's kind of off limits. 
<coughs> excuse me, but everything else you can order. Plus, you get the free, um, the in color shimmer gems for free the month you're the host, too. And I let you know once I get everybody signed up, then I kind of randomly assign months for people to be the host of the in color club. But again, it's a great way to get all of our product in all five colors on a budget over five months. So, May, June, July, August, September. By September, you'll have all of the product and all of the colors. Such a great deal. So, if you're interested, let me know on that too. Okay. All right. I think, yeah, we are ready. We are ready to make our projects. Okay. All right. Let me get my glasses, get a sip of water, and we're going to get really serious now. That's the joke at um, craft o -Rama. <laughs> That was dubbed by, I think it was my friend Stacy started calling it craft o -Rama. Um, Yeah, so we did that last weekend, got together with my good friends. I posted a picture of the four of us. That was the first day that we got there on uh, Thursday. Um, but yeah, had tons and tons of fun at craft o -Rama. What was my point? I can't remember now. <laughs> People were laughing at me. That happened to me at Bingo the other night. And they're like, you're not old enough for that to happen. I'm like, oh, yes, I am. Because it happens very regularly. Okay, so here's our first project with the little celebrate, you did it. And then I put a little, you are incredible on the inside. So you can see, actually, this little banner die right here is the one that I used on the inside right there. Okay. And then again, so here's our celebrate and then our you did it from the happy little thing stamp set. Okay, so excuse me, we'll scoot that back there. So we've got our ink pads and our stamps. Ooh, and the fun ribbon I have to share. So this ribbon, this is the Azure Afternoon. It also comes in Lemon Lolly and maybe Bubble Bath. Those three are all in like a combo pack. This ribbon is retiring. Very sad because it's some of our new colors. I love that ribbon. So yeah, that's it's just kind of, it is the way it is, right? But, but still a bummer. Okay, so let's see. I think I have everything that I need. <clears throat> All right, let me tell you about dimensions here, okay? So we're gonna start with an Azure Afternoon piece of cardstock, okay? This is a tall card. So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five inches, okay? There we go. So there's our card. Then we have pieces of, actually, we'll stoop that up there, right? We have basic white and berry burst. Basic white measures three and three quarters by five. And then berry burst measures three and a half by four and three quarters. So those layer right on top of there. Then we also have a piece of, this is the masterfully made designer series paper. I was a little bit late to the game with this paper. It's funny because I have this particular pattern. It's like a whole strip. And I was like, I have to use this paper before it's gone because I really, really like it. So this piece measures three and a half by two and a half. That's going to go right there. And then I've got some other pieces of basic white. They're um, essentially one-inch strips that we're going to use for our stamping and die cutting. Um, I will tell you, though, also, don't forget, on my blog, Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com, all of the colors, measurements, product codes, everything that you need to order and recreate these projects will be on my blog this afternoon. So keep that in mind too. Okay, all right, so let's do our stamping. Actually, do you need that, don't I? Okay, so uh, this piece actually is a set measured piece now that I think about it. This one is four inches wide, two inches tall, okay? All right, let me grab, I wanna do this thing here too, right? So let's do our stamping, okay? So we've got our Celebrate, and this is Azure Afternoon Ink. Of course, we're using that because it coordinates perfectly with our Azure Afternoon cardstock. I'm gonna press firmly and lift straight up. Isn't that cool? I love that, right? Doesn't that look good? I think I did a good job on that. At least, <laughs> at least I think I did. Okay, that one's in Berry Burst also. Okay, and actually that stamp, I liked it so much I used it on both of our cards, so. I think 
Yeah, right. You are incredible. Isn't that what this says on the inside too? You guys can see that, right? You are incredible. Okay, so we're going to stamp that in our Berry Burst ink. And I pulled these colors right out of my designer series paper right here. Some Azure Afternoon and the Berry Burst right there. So that's how I decided to use those colors. I feel like this one. So we're going to do that one right there and we're going to die cut that. Lovely, huh? And then we've got another one with the You Did It. Oops, I think for some reason all of my stamps are upside down. It's not really going to matter. Um, so there's the You Did It, right? Okay. <clears throat> all right, so I am using two different sets of dies, but you know what I'm going to do? Let's see, we're going to put that there and then these we're going to die cut. I am going to clean my stamps real quick because I need to use one of them. And then I'm also just afraid I'm going to get ink in places that I don't need it. So there, we're going to do. I just washed my chamois the other day. Very proud of myself because <laughs> a lot of times I use it and then I get ink like all over my fingers because it's not very clean, <laughs> you know, like on the backside, which, ooh, see, there's ink because I... I got it on my fingers from stamping, which is different than... <laughs> okay, might be rambling a little bit today. All right, let's see. <clears throat> okay. We are... I'm going, heading down to see my boyfriend, Mike, in the Detroit area um, after class today, and we are going to go see Andrea Bocelli in concert. This is his birthday present um, his birthday was back in March, and we are going to go see him at Little Caesars Arena. This is where, who plays there? The Pistons, <laughs> I think, play there. Okay, I cut that kind of little, didn't I? Okay, so yeah, so very excited about that. But so my head is like a little bit all over the place because I'm trying to make sure I'm packed and ready to go after class too. Okay, so this is the Countryside Corners dies. That's this one that we're going to use. So these guys right here, these are not retiring. Very happy about that. And let me just do a double check, right? Okay, so that's that label for the You Did It. And then we've got our long You Are Incredible. Okay, so I got to get my glasses on. It's like I'm doing surgery here. And you know what I need? Where is my washi tape? <clears throat> We're going to use this. So at um, bingo the other night, my I think it's my magnetic platforms, you know, since we don't sell those right now, I can't, I can't buy an upgrade. <laughs> and now I'm, I'm trying to find the end of my washi tape, because I thought this was going to be my brilliant idea. But I can't, it, <laughs> maybe, maybe I can find it better on this one. Do you think? Let's see. Okay. All right. Well, this was going to be a great idea, ladies, but. <laughs> oh, my God. Hmm. I need something to kind of, is that it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Finally. I need to, like, rip it funny or something so that. <laughs> so I can find the end next time. Okay, so we're going to just do that there, and I'm going to do that again, right? And we're going to do this one. Yeah, so this one will cut it off a little bit, but it, oops, how's that going to work? Do you think that would help me cut? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it's going to be all right, ladies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so here we go. So again, the countryside corners, we've got this one. I like that, right? Just that nice little kind of mini label. Okay, and then we've got this guy right here. Okay, I have to show you guys this one up close, right? So you can see there's like a little stitching on the end, right? And I'm not bothered by the fact that B is the only one that kind of um, <clears throat> gets cut off a little bit, but I don't think it's a big deal, right? Okay. Right there. Okay. I think we are good here. All right. So let's see. I think we can put our card together now. Adhesive. Did I grab that? <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, I did, but it's, it was hiding behind my tote. Okay. All right, here we go. We are going to, actually, let's put this pink on first, right? Okay. So we're going to do, do this one first. I feel like there's something kind of funny going on with my adhesive. All right, so we're going to put this piece on. So our berry burst on our white, we're going to do that one. Oopsie, like futzy fingers. There we go. That's working better now. Okay, then we're going to put these. I love this color combo too. So fun and bright and cheerful, especially for a congratulations card. I thought that was pretty, pretty good color combo with graduations coming up. My niece, we've got so much co good stuff coming. My niece is graduating from college two weeks from Saturday. So I was just chatting with my sister last night about that, trying to make sure, you know, what the plan is. We're going to go to graduation. I haven't been to a graduation. Did that actually? Hmm. There we go. <clears throat> All right. We're going to just kind of run this. Yeah. So Cade, my son, we were in Maui when he <laughs> graduated from high school. So and he was fine with that. He did not. It was still kind of COVID. We weren't sure if it was going to happen. So we, we had thought about coming back from the Maui incentive trip early. Um, but then it was one of those, well, who knows if it will happen for sure. So we decided not to really worry about it. Um, yeah, and so Lily, we did, my daughter Lily graduated and I got to see her <laughs> graduation. But my point was kind of like, I haven't been to that many graduations lately. So yeah, so excited to go see my niece Emma graduate from college. She's at Grand Valley where my kids are both at um, as well. So that's kind of cool. So we'll get a good preview for when my kids, right, knock on, <laughs> when my kids graduate from college too. <laughs> okay, all right, so here we go with our Azure Afternoon Ribbon. Gonna make our pretty bow. I'm gonna show you guys this again too because it's so, oops. Um, I love the little silver stitching on it and that's the case with the Lemon Lolly. Can you guys see that? And the Bubble Bath all have that kind of silver stitching on it too. All right, we're going to grab a mini glue dot. We're going to just pop that there. There's our pretty bow. And then I wanted to add, you know me, it's like my little recipe, ribbon and bling, my last two things. Okay, so here's my <laughs> assortment of festive pearls. So these are retiring also. They come in gold, silver. I think this was soft succulent, but now it's just pale green and then a red. So um, those are great little pearls too. If you don't have them, make sure you get them before they retire as well. We are using the silver ones on this card. Oops, that's why I was kind of going underneath the clear. I'm going to do maybe one more. Do one right there. There we go. Okay. So celebrate. You did it. You are incredible. I could give that to my niece, Emma. How about that? I have my graduation card. And actually, so Grand Valley's color, it's a little bit deeper blue than that, but it's kind of, kind of that color blue. Mm-hmm. Okay. My wheels are turning on that one. Okay. So that was card number one. Scoot that one out of the way, and I will show you our next project. <clears throat> okay, so our next one also features that fun stamp set. This time, <laughs> so fun, so fun. Love the bling. Thanks, Diane. I didn't see you on there. Thank you, thank you. I know the bling. It's always all about the bling. As our friend Linda, who watches Facebook Live, says, bling is king. And I think that's so cute. And I, I truly believe that also. So I put a little bling on this one also. I was thinking, okay, so not going to lie. I was excited about my Michigan MGO blue, maize and blue colors here. Uh, but then we use some of these are, what are these called? These are called the rustic metallic dots. These are retiring also. So they come in like a larger 
um, dot and then a smaller dot also. So kind of added a little bit of, I'm going to say bling, but it's not super blingy. Did I say this already? Also, I thought this could be a good masculine card if you needed, you know, the polka dots kind of make it fun, but I think you could still, it could be considered masculine. I didn't put any ribbon on it and these aren't sparkly. So, right. I feel like we can get away with that. <laughs> okay. So let's see, actually we'll put those ink pads there. Get our stamps out. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> All right, so let me again give you measurements that will also be on my blog. Okay, so we've got Knight of Navy is our beginning card base or cards, piece of card stock, right? So this time along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches and along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there's our card, right? On, we're gonna do the inside, right? Because this is my standard four by five and a quarter. That's that piece on the inside. Then we have a piece of um, delightfully eclectic designer series paper. There's the other side. Super cute little flowers. This is that huge pack. You get like 30 sheets of designer series paper in this pack, retiring also. So this piece measures four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And then basic white that measures five by three and three quarters. And those layer on there. So just a little bit of the white pops out from behind there, right? And then we've got some pieces of um, basic white cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting. And it looks like, maybe I need another piece there too. Okay, so let's do, we're gonna grab this one right here. <clears throat> okay, let's do this stamping on here first. Okay, so we've got, and actually is one of these, nope, I think I just trimmed them down, trimmed them all down. Okay, so we're gonna do Knight of Navy ink, Right, because of course it matches our Knight of Navy cardstock. So we've got the Wishing in Knight of Navy. Okay, there's that. And then, and we're gonna do Best Day Ever. This one right here, the Best Day Ever. We're gonna put that right on there. And then on the inside, I think I have the, yep, You Are Incredible is also in Knight of Navy. Okay, so we're gonna do that one. So here is our, you are incredible. So I'm thinking this is more of like a birthday card. I, there's something about that font. I love it. I wish I could write like that. That's probably it. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna close this guy up and we're gonna use our crushed curry ink pad. Okay. And we're gonna stamp the U in crushed curry. There we go. Okay, perfect. All right, so we got all of those. Okay, now let the fun begin. <laughs> I think I meant to kind of help myself out and do this. I think we're gonna use, no, I think I did use this one, right? Let's see, right? Yeah, so I thought I, well, Clearly, I did not. I was thinking that I should um, do these little polka dots, you know, have it all done before Facebook Live. That did not happen. Got moved on to other things. So we're going to just kind of chit chat here and watch me make these little polka dots. I think the thing is to not worry too much about the spacing. I would say just try to press about the same, I don't know, what do you wanna say? Use the same amount of pressure with each dot so that you don't get super big ones and then teeny weeny ones. I guess the teeny weeny ones you could always add to it, but look at that didn't take too long. How about that, huh? So cute, right? wishing you the best day ever. Okay, so now we are going to just trim this right here and this right here, and then we're going to trim the U right here and right here. Okay, so we're going to keep both of those, and then I'm just going to die cut this one with the dies <clears throat> from... 
the cute little, this is the other one, right? This little die right here we're gonna use. Oh, dimensional backing. They're always everywhere, aren't they, right? Okay, so let me grab my die cutting machine. We're gonna do one little run with this guy here. Might need my washi tape. Again, we shall see, right? Okay. All right, so this one. There we go. Stickies work too, if you don't have washi tape, either one. But that's gonna stay for me this time. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so yeah, you can see it a little bit better now, right? So the little, I don't know, the cute little ends, right? There's little stitching and then kind of fun little something or others there on the end too. Okay. All right, ladies. Let's put our card together. Okay, so we're going to bring that back into view. So I'm going to put this on the inside. This is our sentiment that says, you are incredible. Okay. We're going to just add this one right there. Right, then we have, again, the delightfully eclectic designer series paper. Retiring, but you still have time. It's not gone yet when I looked yesterday anyway. Huge, fun, bright, bold patterns in this pack of paper. Very, very cute. Okay, so we're gonna layer this one right on here. Okay, and then we're gonna put some dimensionals behind all of these things, actually. Okay, so we've got our wishing and our you, and then I need my minis. Let's see, do I have my minis? No, nope, they're not right there, are they? Where are they? I know I have some. Huh. There they are. Okay. Hiding. Okay. So these, you got to be a little more strategic about to make sure you don't see them back there. But I think we're good. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we just kind of start layering this on here. So we've got our wishing. And then we're going to do the you. Wishing you the best day ever. And then on the inside, you are incredible. There we go. Okay. All right. So again, I think it could be a masculine card um, with these little dots, right? Okay. I think I used the bigger ones, didn't I? Right. So we're going to do one right there. Just got to add a little bit of I'm going to say texture, not even bling because they're not sparkly at all, but just add a little bit of texture. I think that's always cool to do that too. And there we go, ladies. Cards for today complete. Love it, huh? Okay. So here's our little recap. Missing a card, but that's all right. Okay, so if you order online through me using this host code right here, you're gonna get one of each of these projects as a thank you from me. Your name is entered into the drawing to win this awesome, so cute. I think you can see it even better now, right? So you could kind of stamp these things over. They're all, every single one of these has kind of a counterpart image there, right? You could win this stamp set. And then you also get to pick from the demo design dream team pdf tutorial whoopsie got caught on my sleeve with this fun project in it or the free embellishment which are what are these petal pink pretty peacock foil gems okay so lots of great stuff for ordering which i truly as always appreciate um yeah let's see you guys have a great weekend the sun is going to be shining around here in michigan tomorrow i'll be able to tell you all about the andrea bocelli concert that will be interesting i've never seen him perform before so i'm very excited i think he has a beautiful voice and i think it will be a very kind of magical experience so looking forward to it all right thanks everybody we will see you back here again two weeks from today all right bye thank you happy friday happy weekend